Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. We celebrated World Card Making Day on Saturday. We had an event here in my studio where we did a Christmas card buffet. And I know lots of demos and lots of stampers all over the world were participating. So hope you guys had a chance to get crafty over the weekend. I have been a little MIA recently. I haven't done movies for a couple weeks, uh, but I am back in the studio. I have things under control control now. So I wanted to show you this amazing card that we made at my WOW class. I'm thinking we made this in no, August, actually. This is a total case from my girlfriend, Michelle Suit. She did this in a Facebook Live, and I was just like, that is so cool. We are totally making it. So it uses the Lots of Cheer stamp set. This cute set is in the annual catalog. It's not in the holiday catalog. It's in our big catalog, and uh, I just love it. I have had so much fun with that little snowman, uh, just doing a lot of coloring with the blends. So here's the card. I'm not sure that you can tell. We've got some shimmery ribbon here, and we also have our wreath is covered in Wink of Stella, so it's got a little shimmer and sheen. And then when you open it up, the little snowman pops up. So isn't that super cute? And he's really easy to make. So I wanted to share with you how to create that. I've done a lot of it already, but uh, one thing that happened while I was waiting to create this card with you is that my brand new Stampin' Trimmer showed up. So you guys know that we entered into our new catalog with no Stampin' Trimmer. This is the old one, here is our new one. And I just literally just got it out of the box because I wanted to show you guys some of the differences. I know this is one thing that you can't tell from the video. This thing is so heavy. It weighs a ton compared to this one. This one is so lightweight, easy, portable. It's gonna go with you so super fast or super easy. And this one, um, so the blades were the problem with this trimmer. The trimmer's fine, it's the blades. And I don't, I don't know if you can see, they are teeny tiny, that's a scoring blade. This is the cutting blade. Can you even see that tiny, tiny little notch of a nubbin blade that we have? Well, that's been the problem. So it loses its sharpness really, really fast, so it wasn't meeting our quality control. And we had trouble with it, we've had trouble with it for quite some time. But what was happening is the manufacturer was having to actually hand sharpen each blade for us. And, you know, that's just not sustainable, kids. We have 56,000 demonstrators. I couldn't even tell you how many customers we have in the world. We cannot have someone who is hand sharpening every single blade. So just couldn't keep up. So we had to, we tried, tried some other vendors. We tried some other ideas. Things just did not go well. So we had to get rid of this stamp and trigger. Now, one thing that this one did have, it's got this track. Now, this was replaceable. Uh, that's your cutting track, but it would start to fall in and out. So it was getting kind of loose. We were losing that piece. We also have, um, of course, we have no uh, metric on this one, which is, which is fine for us in the U.S., but a little tricky for those of us uh, in the rest of the world. We also have this little swing arm that gets really tricky right here when you're trying to cut because you have that big gap so you're kind of doing a little bit of guesswork so you know he had some issues and uh, we ended up getting the new blade the new trimmer now i will tell you the trimmer is available now for demonstrators only so that's an incentive if you're thinking of joining this will be a great time to join my team because you will be able to purchase this with your starter kit which is amazing um, we are seeing how the pre-order goes with demonstrators before we open it up to customers we're hoping to have it by the beginning of the year, maybe the end of this year, beginning of next, uh, so that uh, customers are able to get it. But here's a couple things. We've got metric, which is great. We also have um, you know, our imperial measurements to the 16th, which is great. This one only went, I think, do we have 16th? Yeah, I guess we did. Bigger, I'm finding, you know, I'm still fighting the bifocals, guys. So I'm finding these um, are a little bit bigger, easier for me to see. We do not have the locking mechanism at the top. The old one had that little slide bar that would lock this. This one is kind of a self-contained lock. So when you turn it, um, you know, it's not flapping around. It locks itself. It kind of just has a little notch 
and so you'll find that it snaps closed real easily. We've got marks all the way down, which is great. We have scoring and cutting. We still have our swing arm, which actually this locks in place as well. Um, oh, I see, okay. This one locks, that's the first time I've opened it. So you can see now we do not have a gap. We have a fan, it's, it's even marked there. So you guys can see that whenever you're swinging that arm open, you're not gonna do any guesswork. And I don't know if this will show or not. Uh, those trimmer blades are huge. And the scoring blade, it's not a sharp point. It's a nice kind of rounded edge, which is fantastic. It's not going to accidentally tear your DSP when you're doing some scoring. Super happy with that. The blades come in packs of four now instead of packs of two the trimmer is a little bit cheaper. I believe it's $20 now. Packs of blades are 12 and in packs of four. So they're the same price as well. So I'm real thrilled about that. No longer do we have a, a track that's gonna fall out. It's permanent in there. Uh, but yeah, super, super happy. So let's go ahead and use it because I spent a lot of time yakking about it. Let's see what she does. So we're gonna take a piece of Whisper White cardstock and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. First, first video of the day, got to clear out the phlegm. Um, so we're going to take this piece. It is, how big is this? Five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I folded it in half. Got a little glitter on there. <clears throat> and I did some work ahead of time. So I went ahead and I stamped it, fold it in half. So I'm going to place my fold in the top of my trimmer. And I'm going to go to two and five eighths. One, two, three, four, five, two and five eighths. And I'm just gonna put a little tick, <clears throat> a little tick mark. Oh my gosh, my throat's dry. Just a little teeny pencil mark, that's all we need, okay? That is actually determining the half point, uh, exactly halfway of my piece of cardstock. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide my tick mark over to one, uh, yes, half, okay? So when my tick mark goes to half, I'm gonna slide that up there, okay, at the half, and then, which one's cutting? <laughs> this is fun for you, isn't it? I'm gonna take my blade and I'm gonna cut straight down to one inch. Okay, and I had to push a little bit harder because I wanna make sure that I'm cutting through both layers of cardstock. So now I'm gonna take that tick mark and I'm gonna slide it over to the other side at a half. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna bring that blade down. All right, so one thing I'm noticing here for you guys, this is not a flaw in the trimmer at all, but on our old blade, our old trimmer, notice where the marks were, okay? They are on the left side of the arm, which is wonderful for us lefties. I am a lefty. Now this is over here on the right. So when I um, am trying to, no, actually that's my fault. Look, I'm a righty. <laughs> I cut right-handed. How crazy is that? Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally can't see the numbers. So I'm actually making myself cut with my left hand. So you guys might find the same thing. If you guys cut left or you cut right, you might have to just switch your hands so that you can see your um, marks here on the side. How crazy is that, you guys? I cut, I totally cut with my right hand. That's weird. That's weird. That's what my nephew would say. That's weird. Okay, he's like a little um, John Travolta. Okay, so moving on, because I have totally gone down a squirrel trail, haven't I? We are gonna pull this open and we're just going to push that forward, okay? So now we're gonna have that fold come towards us and we're gonna carefully, carefully close our card and there's gonna be two creases. You're just gonna pinch them right there, okay? You can use your bone folder if you need to. You wanna be careful that you don't continue you know, you don't want to do any tearing. So you just very carefully open that and you can totally see it makes a little step. 
and that's where a snowman's gonna sit. How cool is that? That's it, you guys. Can you believe how simple and easy that is? So I did go ahead and I stamped the wreath and I colored it in. I'm gonna layer it on a piece of gold foil. So this is gonna go in the front of our card. We're using shaded spruce cardstock. Gorgeous, gorgeous color for Christmas. And then I have a piece of real red that I have already embossed ahead of time with the, the um, pine wood embossing folder. So I'm just gonna put a little strip down each side and a piece of our reversible ribbon. I wanna make sure I'm giving myself enough room down here. Okay, so just tack that around the back. I believe this is old olive and something. I don't, I don't know if it's shaded spruce, but it's kind of double-sided, which is, and it's got some sparkle to it, which is fantastic. I am not sparing on my adhesive here. I wanna make sure that it sticks to my card. And sometimes I find with the embossing and it gets some of those ridges through it. Oh my gosh, my camera. Ooh, I adjusted it. It's way closer than it normally is. So you guys are seeing like my gigantic hands. Oh, my old lady hands. All nice and wrinkly. My dirty sweatshirt. Look at that. Oh, kids. Happy Monday. I took my dog out for a walk and he is a hole digger. So he was, he got me with a little bit of his muddy lips. All righty, here we go. Now I'm going to take some dimensionals and it looks like I'm kind of down down to the nubbins here, but we keep on using them. Yes, we do. All right, so we're gonna put a couple dimensionals here in the corners so we can pop that up on the front. All right, I may have to adjust this. I think it's a little bit too close. Maybe you can see my, my cards better though. How about that? All right, so now I'm going to take a piece of that reversible ribbon. So you can see there it's got, I think it's peacock on one side and olive on the other. I'm just going to slide this through underneath here and tie myself a beautiful bow. And my nose, there it goes. Dripping right on my camera. <clears throat> Never fails, never fails to get the runny nose when your hands are busy. Okay, so there's my beautiful bow. I'll trim the rest of those off. Then I took the same sentiment uh, or a sentiment from the same stamp set and I did happiest Christmas wishes and I'm gonna put a banner on both of those ends. Now I think I've showed this before. I'm very, very anal. So I do not like to hand cut my banners because I want them to look exactly the same. Many of you are feeling what I'm saying. I have a feeling. So I use the tailored tag punch and I'm just gonna slide it right in the top, kind of eyeball it so that it's even in there. And look at that gorgeous little tails on my, my banner, little flag, little banner. I'm not sure what you guys call it, but I love this punch for that. It's fantastic. So simple, a little bit of adhesive there and I'm just gonna tack that in the middle like so. So we've got the front of our card. So now we just need to put in the inside and I think it's easiest and I, this is probably what Michelle did as well. I wanna make sure I've got some good good adhesive up at the top there because that's where it goes in the fold. And I do one side, okay? So now it's gonna come and it's going to go fairly, low, like almost right on that seam, but I wanna close it so I know that it's not too two in the crack there because otherwise my card won't fold and I'm just going to actually attach the bottom for the back side I guess same thing close the front and now my card opens like that and what I can do is just put a little bit of adhesive on the snowman's butt and just put him right here oh hold on there sir he's jumping off Okay, so there we go. Ta-da! Is that not just absolutely, uh, uh, absolutely adorable? Thanks, Michelle Suit. You're the best. All right, guys. Super, super quick little pop-up Christmas card. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking with my rambling. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.